scarf, point, clean sheet, those are the positives, but it felt like a game we could have taken there. Yeah, like you say, they're, they're the positives. Clean sheet, I thought we looked uh, compact and we didn't really give many chances up, which is pleasing. And it's a point, which is, you know, you never turn down a point. Obviously, you want three, but it's better than none, stating the obvious. Um, was it a classic? No. Was it free flowing football? No. You know, can't hide behind that fact. Did we have three or four chances to, to win it? Yeah, we did, and that, that, that's it's not unlucky, it's, it's that bit of quality in that final third or, or gambling, you know, to, to go and score. I think there's a couple of free kicks bounced on the six yard box, which is disappointing because that's the difference between this week us not winning the game, perhaps, and Port Vale last week probably didn't do much more than we did today. But the gamble when crosses have come in, and that's probably the difference. Like you say, you can say that's unlucky, but that, it's not unlucky, it's, it's good play. Those good chances we got on the end of, I think, fellas really stands out. If you put them away, it changes the whole whole tone of it, doesn't it? It does, it does. And like we say, I think he's had a couple of decent chances. He'd be disappointed not to score, but at least he's got into them areas. Um, we talked about getting balls into the box, crosses. I thought we started that first 10 or 15, and it was frustrating that we didn't repeatedly keep doing in, doing that in the end of the first half to ask them questions. So, yeah, frustrating afternoon. And like I say, it's a point, a clean sheet. You know, I thought John Mellish did excellent today, um, so that's that's pleasing. I thought some, I thought Ryan Loft, Kenny's Carroll were impressive as well. But like I say, was it was it a fantastic performance? No. You've spoken about it before that anticipation, that gambling, that moment in the opposition box that if you do it and just go for it. We saw it with Mark Cullen last week for Port Vale. If you make that move, you're gonna likely get on the end of something. And that's the difference, you know. Like that is the we can talk about all, all we want between the boxes in good play, not good play, whatever. But it is the the two boxes um, unfortunately we didn't gamble on enough or anticipate I think not loads but it, I think Nathan's had one when it bobbles across the six yard line like I say I'm going back to a couple of free kicks where they bounce and you think just go and gamble on the other side I thought we anticipated things better in our box defensively <coughs> so that's pleasing disappointed at the other end but pleasing that end and overall for the team to look so comfortable in possession with the ball and, and the most likely to, to get the win you must be pleased with that yeah I thought we were comfortable in possession we, we moved it too slow you know, I, we wanted to move it quicker to keep moving them or get our wide players on it, but they were quite compact and kind of sat behind the ball, which made it difficult. But like I said, that's something we can definitely look at and try to move the ball quicker. Just to see the game plan work, other than obviously getting the three points, but other than that, the, 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 the shape and everything, it's worked in our favour. Yeah, like I said, I thought, I thought it worked, worked today. It might, it might be a different shape another time, or sometimes you can get obsessed by tactics or shape. But yeah. It, it, it nullified any threats they had, but unfortunately didn't capitalise the threats we had. You know, in, with the wide players that perhaps didn't get them the ball early enough to, to create opportunities. Sean, you're prepared to make the big decisions, Gav, particularly in terms of a very experienced player in Byron. But you're prepared to make those switches if you think it warrants it. You make you make them decisions. You know, you, one thing I would say about Byron Webster, he's been fantastic this week. I spoke to him on Thursday to let him know. And he's been fantastic. You don't have to, you know. He's probably, I'm probably not his favourite person, etc. But as a professional, absolutely fantastic. I hold him in high esteem. Um, John Mellis came in. I thought he was great. Like I say, so you have to make them decisions. I think players, if you're in the team, it, they don't mind the person in charge for however long. If you, if you don't like, if you're not in the team, you're not popular. If you're in the team, you are popular. Sounds like you've got the kind of group that accepts these decisions, even though they might come and knock on the door and say why. They do accept it ultimately. You know, you never like it. I've been through it myself, etc. I've, I've had that, that curly finger a few times. Told come and speak to us. Not playing Saturday, and you don't like it. But as part of being a professional footballer, when it comes to the bench, Gav, there's some big players, big names missing there. But again, you're looking at what you can make an impact with substitution. Uh, you know, they're, they're difficult decisions as well, um, and that will probably feel really disappointed, and probably perhaps rightly so. But Aaron's done well reserve games, and sometimes you you just pick it on what you feel. What have the boys reacted to, to getting the nil-nil there in the dressing room? Are they disappointed? Do they feel like it's an opportunity missed? Yeah, they're disappointed. Yeah, we we are disappointed. You know, like I say, we, we'll take a point and move and move forward, or whoever will move forward. But yeah, we're ultimately disappointed because we felt it was a game that we could go and go and win there. Bridgie and Sorensen, two two names noticeably missing today. What can you tell us about them? Sorensen had a migraine and sent him back to Newcastle. He's been assessed by their doctor today, and. Jack Bridge had a, you know, a stomach upset, so it's best to keep him out of the building so it didn't spread. Got to ask you the question, Gav. Have you got any indication of what's, what your position is for the coming week? No, it just carry on as normal. It's the same as, that, um, as last week. We'll get to Monday and we'll go again there. Reflect on today's game, tonight and tomorrow, and then Monday we'll, we'll see what, 
how the land lies. This is new flat batting, isn't it? That is exactly the approach that you've got to this situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And th there's a process going on. You know, at Crack, you get on with your job, you prepare them um, to the best of your ability, and the club have a process. And yeah, the, last week when they were going to release a statement, they let me know, they notify me, so that's fine, no issue with that. That's key, isn't it, that the board and you, you're talking all the time, so it's not like you're being kept in the dark on anything. Yeah, no, they, they informed me before it went out, which is, which is good, so at least I knew what was going out, which is good, and anything that needs saying, that they're in contact with me and let me know. That's the same as everybody, you'll be happy when it's all resolved, whatever happens. Yeah, like I say, I reflect on that, I'm thinking about fella not nearly scoring, and if uh, yeah, our Sunday been a little bit better, but like I said, that, that's for. Thanks for your time.